przeczytać tekst tak, jak został przygotowany przez pana profesora, czyli w pierwszej osobie, tak jakby, tak jakby on to czytał. Okay, so welcome everyone once again. Uh, the presentation is entitled International Projects in a Digital Age and was prepared by uh, Professor Martin Bayens from Belgium. Uh, okay, so at the beginning, a short introduction. I studied at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Ghent, Belgium. The Academy has now been renamed as School of Arts, an association partner of University Ghent. I studied graphic design, drawing, painting, and all disciplines of graphic. In my work is the nature is a very important, uh, important item. I try to find the perfect harmony between the nature and the technology. As a professor, I've worked for uh, more than 40 years at the same university. I was for a long time chairman of the design department. I've been guest professor in 30 different universities in Belgium, America, Turkey, North Cyprus, Poland, and China. Uh, during my pedagogical career, I have always found international cooperation extremely important. It is an ideal opportunity for the exchange of experiences and new knowledge. Today, years after, after my active teaching career, I still have an inspiring contact with most of my former international colleagues. At this conference, I want to explain some international projects that have been realized over the years. First was the newspaper project. A newspaper has a limited lifespan and as a means of communication. Once the articles have been read, the paper loses its specific function and is disposed of. But it can obtain a new life, get a new function. It can be used as the layer on which artists express their feelings and ideas. With this project, we want to draw attention to the news that have already been forgotten. First daily news project, Dialog, was realized in 2008. In 2008, I did the project in cooperation with 31 Turkish artists. Professor Hasip Pektas, my right hand in this project, wrote, when Martin asked me to work with him, I was questionable, forward-looking to the reactions of the public that would be skeptical about art being made on a newspaper. But when I saw the work that Martin made on, my, on the January Millier newspaper, I was fascinated. The project was running for 31 days. Every day there was another Turkish artist at work. Against that, I gave my version of for 31 days. The project was easy to realize as the newspapers were sent by postal mail. The City Museum of Saint Niklas organized the exhibition in Belgium and the ISK University was showing the exhibition in Istanbul. These are some walks from the project. Second daily news project, Never Ever Forever, was realized in 2010. My friend Dong Xiaozhuang from Chengdu came up with the idea to start the same initiative in China, a dialogue between East and West. Turn over our present day papers, the lack of good news is very striking. For us, this was a good reason to decide to only use positive news as the starting point for our project. The language barrier might distort my view, but I have the impression that there are clear differences in the way Eastern and Western artists deal with the news. The project will consist of 60 images symbolizing a positive message of June 2010. The exhibition of the project took place in the prestigious Art Hotel in Chengdu.
Third daily news project Continental was realized in 2011. I was pleased to be able to support the third edition of this project as a curator. This new daily news was reserved for students. Participated countries included Iran, Cyprus, China, and Turkey. Fourth daily news project, East Meets West, was realized in 2019. I was the curator of uh, this project and it was organized by Dr. Habilitowany Krzysztof Marek Bong from Poland. Participated university, universities were Belgium, Poland, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Korea, China and India. For China, we announced the participation of the Dalian University, Sichuan Normal University, Tianjin Academy of Fine Arts, and from India, the Kurukshetra University. Exhibitions will be organized in Poland and Cyprus and in other countries. Unusual message project was realized in years 2018 and 19, a reflection on a personal experience. In the late summer of 2017, I was invited by colleague professor Dr. Senich Chavasoglu in Cyprus to do a graphic workshop there. And during our time together, the idea grew to start up a new project as a follow-up of the series daily news projects. 13 universities responded enthusiastically to the invitation. Bosnia and Herzegovina, China, Cyprus, France, Iran, Korea, Kosovo, Mexico, Poland, Romania, Russia, Turkey, and the USA. The artists selected by the universities were asked to transform everyday objects into something extraordinary. The choice could be made from 10 topics. Exhibitions will be organized in each of the participating universities. Ex Libris Duo project. In October 2008, I was a participant of the International Ex Libris Congress in Beijing. I met a lot of interesting artists from almost all Chinese province, and I have done the proposal to them to make an ex libris together a duo ex libris. This project is very unique and has never been done before. By this way, we make a bridge between East and West. These artists have taken part at, uh, at the project. Chen Hao, Dong Xiaozhuang, Yu Shouhai, Niu Ming Ming, Zhang Jarui, Jiang Ju. Every ex libris has the same format divided into two equal parts. The Chinese artists have started the work on the left part and my response was on the right side. The images are sent via internet several times to China, Belgium and vice versa, just to the moment the two artists are satisfied about the results of the ex libris. The technique is CGD, and the addition six different prints are made in an addition of 100 copies. With the support of the Chinese Ex Libris Association and Graphia, the Belgium Ex Libris Association. Another free graphics projects, new image code. Three Chinese artists, Dong Xiaozhuang, Li Xiaohai, Xu Liaoluan, and myself have realized this project at the same way as the Ex Libris project. It was held in 2010 in Chengdu, and the size of the prints were 36 centimeters by 72 centimeters. Edition uh, consisted of six different prints in an edition of 100 copies.
graphic project, Unexpected Signs. It was a duo project by me and Dong Xiao Zhuang, held in 2017 in the technique of CGD. The size of the prints was 35 centimeters by 75 centimeters. And the edition consisted of five different prints in an edition of 100 copies. Graphic project Zodiac uh, consisted of 12 different prints realized by 12 international artists in an edition of 100 copies. The curator of the project was Dong Xiao Zhuang. It was held in 2019 in Chengdu. The size of the prints was 28 centimeters by 28 centimeters. To sum up, projects in digital times. All these projects could be realized with good results. So finally, look at two more images from a series of digital works realized with the Chinese artist Wu Bin. All my thanks go now to the organizing committee of this event and especially to director of the Krakow Library, Dr. Agnieszka Fluda-Krokos. Thanks to everyone who made this forum possible. Thanks to everyone for your attention.